Hello, good morning and welcome to the LibreOffice Ubuntu Conference 2023. A few introductory words about LibreOffice from Italo Vignoli, one of the founders of the LibreOffice project. We are in a large market. Um, analysts estimate a value of tw over 28 billion US dollars in 2023 and a value of over 31 billion US dollars in 2025. So the market is growing. We know that our competitor, largest competitor in this market are Microsoft Office and Google. But we have a distinctive position to remember. We have some unique characteristic that can make us different from all the other Office suite. The first one is our community. We have a large community which is really global. We are in many, many countries in the different continents with uh, volunteers and we, with ecosystem companies. We work all together to make LibreOffice better, to make LibreOffice the best office suite ever. We started to work uh, on LibreOffice code uh, in 2010 when uh, we forked from OpenOffice. So, during the years, we had uh, several cycles. The first was focus on code cleaning, the second on code refactoring, uh, and this has made possible to develop features that before 2010 were considered impossible for uh, the software. Then we focus on the user interface and we made it flexible. A user can choose uh, between uh, a user interface uh, uh, similar to Microsoft Office or uh, the traditional user interface. It's up to him to decide which is best uh, for, his, uh, for his workflow. Uh, then we have added platforms. Uh, LibreOffice started on the desktop, but today is available on mobile, on the cloud, on uh, Chrome OS, and uh, also on, uh, on other platforms. This is all possible because of the work that has been done in the previous years. And with uh, uh, LibreOffice 7.x, uh, we have uh, focus on uh, document compatibility to provide uh, the best interoperability with Microsoft Office document. Although sh we should always remember that Microsoft Office documents are not standard by any mean. They are different from the standard approved and recognized by ISO, and they are different from the description of the standard, which is on Microsoft Office website. So they are uh, basically uh, a proprietary uh, format because it's not documented um, completely and uh, is not compliant with any standard. And this uh, is uh, a visual that explains this difference. LibreOffice is uh, tightly integrated. We use the same common productivity engine for all platforms. We have uh, the open document format, which is a true standard format, is the same recognized by ISO, is uh, the same that is uh, uh, written, uh, saved, uh, printed by LibreOffice in its different flavors. So uh, if you create a documents on the desktop or mobile on the cloud, the document will be uh, the same. Uh, with a huge advantage in terms of interoperability for those that use uh, the ODF standard. This is uh, the different approach uh, used by Microsoft Office and all the other Office suite. They have decided to develop a different engine for each platform. So they have a word processing engine for Windows, for mobile and for the cloud, and the same for spreadsheets and presentations. This means that they produce slightly different documents they have slightly different uh, uh, user interface and uh, uh, that creates uh, interoperability issues even within the same, uh, the same product. You all know that there are uh, documents that have been written by all version of Microsoft Office for the desktop that are not readable with the current version of Microsoft Office for the desktop. And this uh, uh, not only represents an issue, but represents a cost if you are uh, deploying uh, uh, Microsoft Office in an enterprise. Uh, last uh, uh, distinctive advantage of LibreOffice uh, is the number of languages. LibreOffice is available on over 120 ship languages. 
Uh, and there are even more active language projects, which means that we will announce new language version in the future. There are over 4,600 registered translators and they are uh, making uh, hundreds of thousands of translations. LibreOffice is available in more native language version than any other desktop software. And this uh, is very important uh, for uh, languages that risk uh, to be forgotten because uh, no one takes care of them. Of course, this is not the case of languages spoken by many people like Indonesian, but it's important that uh, even minority in, uh, in uh, each geography can have the software uh, localized in their uh, native language, because this uh, is uh, what makes open source uh, important, different and fundamental for uh, our uh, uh, world. All, uh, all the, 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 the strength that I have summarized in the previous slides uh, are uh, summarized by this uh, image, by this logo. LibreOffice technology is very important. Uh, we invite all the people that are involved in the project to use this logo because this logo will uh, represent the uh, uniqueness of LibreOffice uh, in comparison with other software. It's very important that we remember people that we are not just a product, we are a community, we are a technology, we are something that is different. If you want to be different, LibreOffice is definitely your choice. If you want to be one of the millions that use uh, the uh, the the average, the stand, the, the de facto standard that use the what every other individual is using, then uh, you can choose whatever software you want. You will never be a different person. You will never be a different individual. You will never make a different choice because uh, you follow the, the the main trends. LibreOffice is different. LibreOffice is not following the main trends. LibreOffice is unique. And uh, uh, thank you very much for listening. And uh, I would say bye-bye uh, uh, and I would uh, be in Indonesia as soon as possible. This year it was, wasn't possible because I've just moved home and uh, my personal uh, commitments are focused now on uh, and setting up in, uh, in my new home in a proper way. And a special thanks to Harris and Rania who has made all this possible. Uh, friends, I will be in Indonesia soon. Bye-bye. And thank you again.